Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA here to talk about this full moon in Virgo that will be happening at 2.18 Central Standard Time um, in the morning um, on the 18th. So um, it's going to be 3.18 Eastern Time and then, uh, you know, two hours behind on the West Coast. So um, what's very interesting about this Virgo full moon is that everything that I had written down leading up to this <laughs> talk is not what is coming through um, in order to talk about. And so this is how this work works. So I'm just trusting um, what's coming through and, and what needs to be said pertaining this new moon, I mean, pertaining this full moon. So one thing though that has been coming through um, is ancestor work and a lot of release and forgiveness. So if you could light some candles for your healed ancestors, but also light some candles for your unhealed ancestors. And please remember, it is not your job to heal your unhealed ancestors. Um, your healed ancestors can do that work. At the same time, if you can light a candle for forgiveness and you can just leave it as forgiveness, that's going to do a lot of work right now um, with this Virgo full moon because it is about releasing what is in the soil. It's about releasing um, the past. It's also about releasing how people thought they were being of service. And maybe it wasn't aligned correctly um, looking back on it. So at the time, you know, they believed that was what they were supposed to do to be in service. So if we could just light some candles, we don't have to get super deep into it um, if you don't want to. And actually, I'm looking in my neighbor's backyard and his tree has one bloom on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink flower. So I think that is the ancestors coming through to say thank you. Um, it is them to come through to say thank you to leave a lot of this judgment behind. They're ready to heal. And um, this is a great way to do it. And, and, and going back to this is like, um, if you can just light a candle for forgiveness, you don't have to name, you don't have to be specific. And if you feel like you're not in a place to offer up forgiveness, that's okay too. There's plenty of other people that are here to um, take on that energy. And it's important for you to stay in the energy that you feel comfortable working with. Always know that. Um, it's all, it's all checks and balances. So, um, so please, uh, light a candle for, for, for forgiveness, just all around forgiveness. Um, <laughs> and so now we'll go back to, uh, what was coming through yesterday. <laughs> and this is going to just, I think this, um, talk is going to be more energetic. So just allow the energetics to come through because I feel like if we go about it logically, we're going to be scratching our heads. And now let me tell you, I do have my notebook. It's right here and it's full of uh, where everything is lining up and what's in the sky. And you know what? I might write about it. Like I might just do a little blog post um, about that. But, but, what I, but what is coming through is um, with this Virgo full moon, one thing to remember about Virgos is that they do like to be of service. Like we just went over. Um, and they are an earth sign. So they do like to be practical. They like to be a practical service. Um, and that is getting um, reinterpreted in new ways um, at this time. And so, you know, following things that we thought were practical or following ideas that seem practical um, are getting an upgrade. And what's important is that we need to, um, it is important to remember we're still in Pisces season and Pisces is the alpha and the omega and Pisces is at the end of the zodiac and it can see all, you know, all 11 signs. And so, um, because we are and Pisces is conscious, you know, is ruled by Neptune, which is consciousness itself. Okay. And so because we are in this Pisces season, it is important to start tapping into, that's the best word, tapping into this idea of consciousness and higher consciousness and being of service to the bigger consciousness. And I, I know this is very um, out there for lack of better words, but this is what was coming through because the color purple kept coming through. And um, when I was at the beach, you could see all the layers, right? All the layers were there. 
Um, and it's about going through these layers. It's about grounding in and, and getting to these higher dimensions. And it's about seeing the big picture. And it's about leaving behind these ideas that we thought were of service, that we thought were of service to ourselves and were service of others. And I mean, and, and it's a big, I mean, you can fit anything you want into that idea of service, right? Um, just, but, but it's the idea of service that's not true to yourself. That's what we're leaving behind. That's what we're forgiving. And we're tapping into the consciousness of, <laughs> we're tapping into the consciousness of consciousness itself and how that can be of service. <laughs> and that doesn't look like anything that we've seen um, before. Um, it's probably will quote unquote look like things we felt before. And it's really important that we start using these full moons to tap into um, our intuition and tap into um, ways that we listen to ourselves in the ways that we can be in service to ourselves and put ourselves first. Um, you know, Mars and um, Mars and Venus are still together in in Aquarius, and then Saturn's still in, Quir in, in Aquarius as well, right? And so, Saturn is a new in a new um, degree in Aquarius, and um, I gotta change hands. I'm putting my elbow to sleep. Saturn is still at 15 degrees of Aquarius, I'm pretty sure, and then you know, Venus and Mars are in there, and to me to me that represents showing up as ourselves both sides and how we can be st stable in showing up as both of ourselves or both sides of ourselves as our complete self um and you know aquarius is the um cosmic mind right we're in this age of aquarius so we're coming up with new solutions and new ways of seeing things so use this virgo mind or this virgo mind use this virgo full moon to not be so quote unquote practical and this is where it gets a little dicey um to explain in <laughs> in human words not that i know some other language uh, right now um, but it's important to tap into that consciousness it's important to tap into not being like practical in the sense that we've always felt it was practical it's important to ground in ourselves the idea of consciousness practicality in whatever that may look like or whatever, how that might come about or however that may um, trigger up in you. Okay, guys, like it's, it's important that we start going higher and it's important we start asking ourselves to go higher consciously. So whatever you're, you know, learning and whatever you are moving through and whenever you're getting those questions, it's time to start saying, okay, how can I take this higher? How can this, um, be shown to me in a practical way and if you want it to be shown to you in a practical higher way it's 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 going to open up everything because we're talking about moving through these dimensions right we're talking about everyone wants to get to the next dimension and you know shit we've got to master <laughs> breaking through the third and fourth dimension which isn't impossible um it's all here in in one way we can do that and we are doing that that fifth dimension is is is, is the heart right we're already there we're in this um we're moving through this fourth dimension um, which is the collective consciousness and we are starting to learn to um, use the fifth dimension which is that heart energy right so use this practical energy and this practical magic to move yourself into this higher consciousness um which is what we're in and and what's important is that you start thinking of of magic when i was walking down the street and i was just thinking god damn this is so fucking wild that this is what i'm supposed to be talking about because i had all these notes you guys i've been taking notes for a week um but it was important for me to say practical magic tell them to use practical magic tell them to use practical magic you'll tell them to use practical magic and the idea of magic is is it practical it's magic I don't know, but we've got to start getting into that rhythm and that joy and, and that grounding of the idea that there is practical magic, whatever that looks like to you and however that looks like um, in the universe or, you know, like in your everyday life, you're going to be like, God damn, that's just practical magic because Aquarius, which we are in the age of Aquarius is science and it is magic. And they coexist. And that's what we need to get back to in this idea of this full moon. Uh, in Virgo that's taking place 
it's at a late degree in Virgo and it's we're in the late degrees of Pisces, right, which is consciousness, is we've got to start getting into our consciousness this idea of practical magic and how magic can be of service to ourselves and how magic can be of service to others. But, but this moon here is to light up the idea of the possibilities that we can't even think of yet, which also turns into this um, age of Aquarius, but also how we need to experience it with the masculine and feminine aligned. So consciousness, 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 going higher, going higher, going higher, practical magic, practical magic. Thank you, Virgo. You know, Virgo is the virgin. She um, achieved... Uh, she ascended when she said there is no such thing as sin, right? So keep ascending. It's important to marry this idea of consciousness and um, practicality. I really do think that uh, moving forward. So I'm going to leave it there. I think I will. If I feel inspired, you guys, I'll go through um, my notes to put on the um, on my blog, <clears throat> on my blog and on my website. And, and, and not because I don't think they're not important. At the same time, there's just so much love and excitement I can feel around this message that maybe this just needs to be the message. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> yes, Jamie, <laughs> this needs to be the message. <laughs> this needs to be the message at this time. So, of course, if you guys have any questions, you can always Instagram me or direct message me or um, send me an email on the website. And um, until then... Light the candles for those ancestors, the idea for forgiveness, just to be forgiveness, and then um, have a great weekend and enjoy this full moon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.